Welcome back to Little Ian Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we're going to do a Milky Way tumbler. We're going to be working in the kind of aqua blue, lavender purple tones. Um, we've already got our tumbler prepped and sanded. Uh, we just did a spiral pattern with our different colored uh, spray paints. Uh, that's just going to make for a really fun background on the Milky Way. We've got our part A and B already in our t uh, mix in our cup for our epoxy. Uh, this is Literally in Rose brand pouring art epoxy. Uh, it's measured by weight, so we did it on a little scale here first. And I'm going to go ahead and get this mixing. Um, you want to make sure you mix uh, epoxy very, very thoroughly. You want to scrape the bottom of the container and along the outside edges. Um, while you're working with epoxy, you want to wear... Uh, you want to make sure you're wearing your nitrile gloves and you want to make sure you're wearing a chemical respirator. You want to keep your lungs safe. Um, even though our epoxy is very low VOC, it's less than a bottle of nail polish, you still want to be really, really careful because you can still have an allergic reaction regardless of how non-toxic and FDA compliant and everything it is. Um, it is something that some people, it is frequently found that people have allergic reactions to it. So by protecting yourself with the gloves and the respirator, um, you avoid even having to find that out. So you want to make sure you're very, very careful with your body um, while using this product. Um, it's a wonderful product to use, but just you just want to be safe. So we're just mixing it up quickly. I don't worry about bubbles in the beginning of the flow because we're going to be adding glitter to this. So even the bubbles, you won't be able to see. Uh, they will be all mixed in with the glitter. And most likely with our epoxy, um, it is low bubble anyway. So the bubbles will release as the tumbler spins on the turner. Uh, this machine is called a tumbler turner. We have these on our website. The link will be d below um, this video, um, just in the description below the video. Uh, we also sell tumblers. We sell our epoxy. We have all this beautiful glitter for available. Our website uh, ships everything for free domestically in the United States. So that is a nice little bonus for you guys. Um, so shop away. So you want to just get this mixed up completely until it's co clear to the eye. Um, you don't, if it's still foggy or you can still see wisps of white in the, in the epoxy, that means that it is not cured, uh, stirred up properly yet. Um, you want to make sure you scrape your spoon once in a while and make sure that all gets stirred properly and scrape along the sides and the bottom very, very well, making sure that everything gets stirred up. Uh, for this 32 ounce tumbler, I have made, uh, this is about 47 grams of epoxy, 48 grams of epoxy. Uh, when you do a, um, when you do a glitter swirl for your Milky Way, you actually want to use a little bit more epoxy than you normally would for this size tumbler because you want to get a really good flow on the glitter so that it all blends and mix well, mixes well and beautifully. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pour a little bit of glitter, uh, epoxy into each of these cups with our glitter. If you're new to our channel, uh, we do a lot of fun tutorials on all different styles of these custom tumblers. Uh, we help teach you guys how to build a business. We have a really fun interactive Facebook group and I highly recommend you joining it because they're the raddest people around. You can ask all your questions you need in the group. Um, if you're just developing your skills or interested in starting this, uh, this art form and working with epoxy, uh, a lot of people are very, very intimidated by epoxy, uh, but don't be. Uh, come join us on Facebook, follow us on TikTok, do our Instagram thing, and we will get you all set up and help you out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of scrape the inside of this cup, get all the extra epoxy out. Go ahead and just kind of rub it on the cup. mainly just because we don't want to waste epoxy. And the, having a little bit already on the surface will help with the flow once we get going. And this is why you want to make sure when you are mixing it that you do scrape the edges and sides because you ultimately scrape the edges and sides to get it out. And if you haven't done that and mixed it in, 
then you'll have tacky spots and you really don't want to have that. All right, so we're just going to rub this in just a little bit, kind of get a coating all over the cup. This would be very similar to what we do and what we call in the group hang method, uh, it, where the cup just has a very thin layer on it. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're going to be adding all of this epoxy to it. Uh, what's nice with our epoxy is you have about a 45 minute work time window, so you don't need to rush. You can just work your way through. and not have a super ticking time bond on your hands with the epoxy. You have time to work with it. So I'm just using pressure with my finger to slide the epoxy around on the tumbler. This does not need to be a thick layer. I, like I said, this is just me using the extra stuff that's left over in the cup to get a little slick surface on the tumbler for the, when the fun begins. All right, so our first glitter color we have here, and this is called, this is named Keev, K-E-E-V. You just want to mix your glitter in there real good with the epoxy. Okay, I'm not going to worry about my stir stick getting cleaned in between. This is Maurizio. He is a chameleon glitter. He's going to be super pretty on this cup. He's going to have a lot of color shift to him. Then we have Andrew. Andrew is a fine holographic aqua, kind of tealy, teal, I guess it would be, aqua, teal. Then we have Connor. He is our chunky teal. He's kind of the big brother of Andrew. He's very, very similar in color, but he's a much larger in shape. He's a very handsome boy. Uh, then we have Artie. Artie is a kind of a very small, chunky teal color. He's a metallic glitter. So you can see we're using all different styles of glitter, chunkies, fantasy, um, uh, fine glitters. We're using chameleon glitters. We're using holographic glitters. We're using opalescent glitters. This is a fantasy glitter. This one is Dylan. He uh, shifts. He's got these beautiful like electric purple in him. And then we have Joshua, which is part of our shattered collection. He is a shattered white opal. Okay, so we're going to start by just going ahead and getting these guys on here. Setting my stir stick right down on the silicone mat. The silicone mat is really useful and helpful because um, it does not, uh, epoxy does not stick to silicone. So we're just putting uh, the glitter on randomly around the cup. We're gonna move one color at a time. And then just slowly build up the amount of glitter and epoxy that is on the tumbler as we go. We'll use Marvizio next. I'm saving these cups to the side because I can use my little silicone tools to really get in there and get more out if need be uh, to get better coverage on the tumbler if I need to. 
Look at this gorgeous Dylan on this cup. This one is gonna really make it go pop. Oh, Dylan, you're such a handsome boy. So to all my Facebook viewers that are watching right now, just so you know, I just lost all comments. So if you guys are asking questions, I'm not, it's, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see comments. So I will try to get those back up once we get all the glitter on here so I can keep chatting with you guys. Okay, let's do, let's go with Connor. i put little drops of Connor in here. So if you guys can see, there is a little bit of, um, there is a little bit of fish eyeing on the first layer of epoxy that we put down there. And that is because um, we put this layer of epoxy on really soon after spray painting. Um, the only reason this is working and why it would be okay to keep moving is because we're putting so much epoxy on to follow with the glitter, the weight of the glitter to hold it. Um, but the, the fish eyes are happening because of the gassing off of the, um, the spray paint that's drying and it's creating those craters, but those those will go away with the weight of, of the epoxy uh, with all this glitter on it as we go. So I'm not stressing about it, but if that happens to you guys while you're working on your tumblers, know that that is the reason why it's probably that you just spray painted your tumbler and didn't wait long enough to add the epoxy. You generally wanna wait about 12 hours. Um, before you add. So now we're gonna go through and just kind of fill in the gaps with Artie. Okay, now we've got Keith. It's already starting to flow. The weight of the glitter is starting to push it around the tumbler. We haven't even applied our heat yet. All right, and last but definitely not least, this is gonna be super beautiful once it hits the cup. We've got Joshua. And Joshua is our white shattered collection opal. Each one of these glitters just gives its own unique mark to the tumbler. Okay. So if you see any spots that are trying to still do that um, uh, void or where like a little, what we call a fisheye, 
most likely it's just because the epoxy has actually domed up over that space. So you just go in and tap it and it will go away. And that will start filling in all the little gaps and all the little spots for you. We'll let this go around one time. We'll do our little taps. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in with some heat. I've got all these beautiful glitters stuck to my gloves still that I'm attached there. All right, it looks really good. It looks lumpy and bumpy now, but once we hit it with heat, it's gonna start smoothing out. Again, I'm saving these cups off the side in case I have a little spot where I need to drizzle a little something here or there. Okay. Okay, comments are back up, guys. I see you guys now. I don't have any video, but I can see your comments. I can see what's going on now. I got eyes. I got eyes. Okay, so now we're going to take our heat gun. So I always recommend... Um, not using a torch with the Lillian Rose Epoxy because too much heat will actually cause fish eyes. But the heat gun works beautifully for these Milky Ways. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Jessica, I'm dying. And I'm about to use a heat gun, which is about to get so much worse. Um, Sherry, he is temporarily sold out. We've got to get him packed. He will be back up as soon as we can get him packed. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna hit this with heat and that's going to soften the, the epoxy up and settle it down. So it kind of looks a little lumpy now, but it'll smooth out. Some of it may drop off and drip underneath. That's totally fine. We, we know that there's a little bit more epoxy used on this method um, and some might dri drip off as it can be heated up, but it's gonna All right, so now I'm just gonna let it kind of settle. Oh, we gotta do the bottom. All right, so now we're gonna kind of let it roll and let it settle into where the glitters kind of wanna sit and see how it goes from there. We've only lost a couple little drips. So far. So far, so good. If you see anything egregiously sticking out, go ahead and just tap it off. The butt is flowing beautifully. I can even take what dripped off and stick it on the butt.
I do move the heat gun like a blow dryer because I'm a hairstylist. Got like 20 some years as a hairstylist. So I can see where there's some big blops. I'm gonna go ahead and remove some or try to move it along to a spot that needs it. Oh, Nicole, girl, I just opened your whole world. Uh, this won't be a peekaboo, honey. This is going to be a Milky Way. We're going to turn this into a Milky Way. So tomorrow we will add all the beautiful clouds or the, the white mist. That is the Milky Way. I do have earring studs, but I'm not, oh, I do have earring studs. Mary, you're so smart. I even have, I think this would, especially these colors would look amazing with this. But let me get a silicone tool. I'll get rid of all of our little cups. I could make a bajillion earrings, but I don't have those set up tonight. Um, we kind of got a clump happening here. Move a little bit. So now I'm just going to watch for where it's kind of like thick and clumpy. babysit the cup a little bit and anywhere something's sticking out like a piece of Joshua is poking up I'm just going to tap it down now this cup we are going to do just a gentle sanding on before we do the next step so really these little bits that are sticking up are not that big of a deal um, because the sanding will knock off but you don't want to sand too much when you, when you apply glitter like this because you can sand um, and remove color from the glitter and we don't want to do that. So if when we do when we do sand tomorrow, if we do, if it's got spots that need it, it will be a very, very, very gentle sanding. Now this tumbler will just spin all night. The bottom looks rad. Right. That's awesome. Yes. I can't wait to see what it looks like on camera because I can't my video. 
so what we got to do for this one first is I got to, oh, dang it. Hold on, guys. I'm going to put my little dust mask on. We've got a couple little sharp little pokies that we're just going to just gently, I don't want to over sand. I just want to knock off anything like sharp because the next round of epoxy is really going to smooth this out. on this one. Let me get my heat gun, make sure it's plugged in. It is. Look at my heat gun, you guys. How many times did that touched the end of a cup? Um, all right, so we're gonna mix a decent batch. So we're gonna basically cover the cup in clear and then we're gonna drizzle on our Milky Way. So this is a 32 ounce. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, probably about 36. Oh boy, I lost I just lost track of what I'm doing because my husband walked in. He distracted me with his handsomeness. I just lost track of what I was doing. My handsome hubby just came in. Oh, Which Cassie? Oh boy, look at those, I'm gonna, 17. Cassie Kent, Becca just packed your order. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, oh, I'm like 0 0.02 away from being dead on, but ooh, I really filled that cup up very hot. This would be a pretty peekaboo, but it's gonna be an epic Milky Way. It's there. I just gotta have to stir slow. I don't get to stir crazy like I normally do. Oh, Tish. Oh, yes. The Merman kit and the um, the Chameleon Ombre kit is up on the website as well. I forgot about that. And the uh, Fantasy kit. So the bundles, the bundles that are up there are the Fantasy Ombre bundle, the um, Chameleon Ombre bundle that we call creams, we call creamsicle kind of on the side, and then the Merman bundle and the Diamond bundle. Uh, the shapes for the beehives are in, I know that those are in our group files. So just sh shuffle through our group files until you find the bee, uh, uh, bee comb, honeycomb. Because I shared those, those are one of the very first files I shared with you guys. All right, so this is gone clear, it's ready to go. So I'm going to put a little bit in there, a little bit in there. Apply a thin layer of clear epoxy over the entire cup. And get it nicely coated. Boing. 
the epoxy all the way to the top. Um, before, remember, before doing this, we went through it and just sanded off the small little bits that were sharp, little sharp edges, but we didn't do anything aggressive. We just very gently sanded on the tops of anything that was really sharp. But I didn't even try to necessarily, uh, I didn't try to um, shape, uh, uh, sand down to a sm super smooth surface because I knew that this next coat of epoxy would take us to that smooth surface. So I just knocked off the sharp little bits and the ends. All right, so, and remember for here we used uh, Connor, which is just brand new up onto the website yesterday. Maurizio, which we sell out, we'll probably sell out again today. Um, Dylan, Andrew, Joshua, Keeve. Keeve is the beauty. He's a little bit right there. Um, and Dylan is the, the one that's shifting to purple in there. Dylan is definitely an excellent choice to add to this cup because it gives a little extra oomph. So I'm gonna save that little bit of extra epoxy off to the side because I am sure that I'm going to use it and put it inside down inside of our little jewelry dish mold here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and stir our acrylic paint into the epoxy that we poured into the smaller cup. And we're gonna do our drizzles. This part you definitely don't want to rush because you don't want to get too much. You want to get, it's going to be a little bit stringy. Because we have quite a bit of acrylic paint in there. So you just want to be patient about drawing your lines. And I've got a little bit on the bottom, so we're good. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. You can see it gets a little gummy because I have more than a 10 to one ratio. This is what happens if you have a little too much acrylic paint um, with the ratio, but it should still, it'll still work. It'll still be a beautiful webbing for our uh, Milky Way. Now we've got our mixative, our pearl mixative, and we're gonna mix that into this set of epoxy. And this is gonna be a more translucent color. So now we're going to just drizzle this along. And this is done with an alcohol ink. This is a trans, this is the mixative pearlescent alcohol ink. Make sure we get a little on the bottom. All right, so, but now we're going to heat it up and move some of this and force it around with our heat gun. You can already see that the, the um, uh, alcohol ink is starting to form some cells. When we hit it with some heat, it's going to get even more cells. There's here and it's starting here. And the acrylic ink itself is also doing the same thing. So we're just going to start heating it up. So I use my heat gun to push it in all different directions. 
and to start making it get very wispy and loose. And then we're going to start going down. Tilting down with your, this is why it's really nice to not have them on a like six. This is why I like an individual turner so that you can manipulate the tumbler as it's working. If this was stuck on a big six cup turner, you would not be able to do this. And then back up. And look, we're getting this really cute little swirl here. So we're just manipulating it. So it's not just like spinning in circles. It's also going up and down. It's breaking up some of those just horizontal lines. switch, whoop, there's a drip coming off, I'm going to let it drip first. And then you'll just kind of start seeing the tumbler will just stop moving. Like the epoxy will stop flowing. There's a few places where um, the acrylic paint is being weird, so I'm just going in with my tweezers and pulling it off. I'm just babysitting the cup and really just kind of personal preference. I don't like them, so I'm we're going to do it with them. All right. I am freaking loving this cup. So you can see there's like striations and like cells. And like this part is like crazy. I don't know. The whole thing is absolutely stunning. So this is a Milky Way tumbler. Summer style. I don't know how other people do it. I've literally never watched another Milky Way tumbler tutorial. I've literally not ever watched anybody else's tutorials. I don't have time. You guys just say something like, can you show us how to do a Milky Way? And I'm like, okay. And I just kind of figure out how I would do it. And that's how I do it. So if that's not how other people do it, 
Sorry. This is how I do it. I know, I bought him an avocado because we're leaving California. So we got to take our avocado with us. Um, so yeah, you can see that the epoxy now has kind of stopped moving. So that's why I've stopped going back and up and down. If you don't do the tilting, you're just going to get a whole bunch of the um, Milky Way that's going to make horizontal lines around your tumbler. The tilting is really important to the whole part of um, like getting this like wispy cloud effect. Yeah, the white is the acrylic paint, the off-white is like the pearlescence. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, Cassie, see? You're gonna have to, now you're gonna have to do this one, Cass. Cassie Kent, did you hear me when I said Becca just packed your order? So I don't even know what the norm is that everyone else does. Hey, everybody, tell Becca and Christina they're awesome. Because they're packing all your orders today. Yeah, Cassie, Becca just, Becca just packaged up your order. So you can see that this one is pretty much essentially stopped flowing. So I can safely stop paying attention to it and like babysitting this tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the back so that we can uh, work on the bee tumblers. 